Hello, this is the physics standards video um, from lettergradum.net and in this video I would like to give you the systems international units uh, or the standard units we have in physics for most of the common stuff. Um, for length or area or volume we use meters as our standard. Um, for mass we have kilograms, for time we have seconds, for temperature we have Kelvin, for amount of substance we have mole, for luminous intensity we have candelas, and for electric current we have ampere. Okay, I'm just going to go through real quick and explain basically how to convert these into these standard units. You would always like to convert them to these standard units in any equation, which will allow you to solve the equation um, in the standard way, and since a lot of our equations, you need to have them in standard form before you do the equation, you may have to make sure you remember these conversions, how they're converted, and how to move them correctly into the proper format. For example, for area, um, we have, we'll usually have meters squared. For volume, we'll have um, meters cubed. For length or distance, um, we'll have meters. For time, we'll obviously have seconds. For mass, we'll have kilograms. So here's how we'll do this real quick. I'm going to give you basically the easiest way or the way I learned to convert, which hopefully will help you. Okay, so we have, let's say, one meter. Um, okay, so here's a meter stick. Here's the way to think about it, which is also equal to 100 centimeters. Um, attached to this video, I'll have a conversion or explanation of how centimeters and millimeters and all this stuff works out. But the basic concept is, since we have one meter right here equal to 100 centimeters, um, one centimeter is equal to one over 100 meters, or one times 10 to the negative second meters. Um, so easiest way to convert this is let's say we have one meter and we want to convert it to centimeters. We know one meter is equal to 10, 100 centimeters. So right now these cancel out and that'll equal 100 centimeters is how many we have right there. Um, this is how it usually works. Let's say we have 121 millimeters. Um, okay, so what we do is we know there's 1,000 millimeters in a meter because one uh, 10 centimeters is or there's 10 millimeters in every centimeter there's 100 centimeters in a meter so we have 121 millimeters divided by 1000 millimeters which will give us one meter these two units cancel and we're left with right here point one two one meters Okay, that's how it works for everything. You could do that, um, as long as you understand the conversion, you should be able to do that with virtually all of these, whether it be luminous intensity, ampere, Kelvin, seconds. I'll do a quick uh, explanation of seconds. Um, okay, we have one uh, minute, which we set that equal, and we know one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, cross those off. So, right now, it took 60 seconds for whatever, that object to move, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, and let's say we have 1.2 minutes. Uh, let's do 1.25, actually. Okay, so 1.25 minutes. We still have to divide by one minute and multiply it by 60 seconds because there's you know one minute and 60, so we cross these off and that will equal 75 seconds if you want just you know do that on calculator 60 times 1.25 and that's basically how this works this will be able to you'll be able to do this with all of these down here every single one of these so once you understand and memorize, or if you're allowed to use a formula sheet, you can see how this works, and hopefully you'll be able to figure that out quickly and easily 
Now, remember you want to put them each to standard form um, before you do an equation. So you want these meters and these kilograms and these seconds all to be a standard form. You know, if you have, we're traveling, you know, three, three kilometers an hour, you're going to have to convert that quickly into something better. I'll give an example at the end of this video that I hope you're able to understand. And, you know, you can just pause it and look at it and I'll give a little explanation. And on my website, you know, lettergram.net right here you'll be able to go there and I have PDFs downloadable for you um, examples and or maybe one or two examples and the tables you need to understand this and this would be the downloadable content I have you see of the standard units of physics um, further down we have an example of how to do that with multiple uh, how to solve for um, the standard units or make it into the standard units um, with, you know, uh, some designated speed, standard area of dimensions, and the table of powers, which are all in the table um, with the powers of 10. And this is used a lot considering um, all standard units are based on powers of 10, pretty much, volts, megavolts, um, which isn't on the standard units, but you'll get there if you need it. Um, then I have, you know, how centimeters work and how it works, um, converting kilometers to centimeters. And then why the powers of 10 and why it was so simple back, um, you know, changing from feet in the rest of the world besides the United States um, into meters. And then you can visit me on letterground.net, Twitter, and find a video on YouTube if you don't understand anything else. Um, that's about it. It's just a simple um, guide. I'll have more, obviously, more complex guides, but I wanted to get the most basic out of the way, so if people have any issues, they could uh, get it worked out early on. Thank you for watching this video, and hope you will come join me again.